So today I have the Antop. This is the 800 SBS indoor outdoor amplified antenna. Antop sent this over to me to review and I'm hoping that it's going to work pretty well. I have tried a couple indoor ones like those flat panel ones that they just don't work very well. I'm about 20 miles outside of the city and kind of in between a couple cities so I don't really get much here. But we'll see if one of these more powerful antennas, because I haven't tried one this large and this powerful yet. So we'll definitely see what this can do. Now, what's nice about these, though, is that, you know, you get free channels. You don't have to pay for your streaming. You don't have to pay for, you know, your cable, all that stuff. And this one is rated up to 85 miles, it says. It also comes with a smart booster. It comes with a 40-foot coaxial cable. Here's our large unit. And then let's see what else we have in here. We have our two extension rods, our booster, and we got our manual and the power adapter. All right, so better look at the items here. So here's our booster. We have our input for the antenna. We have two outputs, so you can actually hook up two different TVs. And then there's a little knob to crank up or do minimum. We have an adapter here for if you have an FM radio, you can actually use this for your FM stereo. And a couple other little parts. We also have that 40 footer of the coax, which is nice. And we have two additional five foot coaxial lines. And these you'll use for the booster to the TV. And then our main unit here, it is made of a heavy duty plastic. It is weather sealed and everything. On the back, we have a mounting plate, which does rotate. And we got the, the coaxial hookup and we have where our, our extensions will go as well. And then we have our mount here, which we'll use for inside. And then the mount just goes on it just snaps in it's super easy there you go that's all you have to do for that part then you're going to take the extension rods and you're just going to screw it into these little uh, screws here on each side and that's it your indoor unit is pretty much done now we just have to hook up the wire and the booster and everything and then we have our coaxial line here so on this side we have a Kind of a weatherproofing housing to kind of seal it up a little bit you're just going to screw it in right underneath where those extensions go there's just a little port right there and then we're going to hook that up to the booster itself and then from the booster you'll you'll do your plug-in and or for your electrical adapter and then you'll screw one of those five footers to this to your tv and that's simple as that so we'll go ahead and we'll start our first scan we're going to use this right here on the desk see what we get over here and then we'll try it in the window see if it gets better so i sped it up we got 22 channels Let's go ahead and we'll see how many of these channels are working and what kind of quality we get. And I will speed it along a little bit just so it doesn't take quite as long because I don't want to bore you too long and I don't want to make this video longer than it really has to be. So let's go ahead and we'll go through our channels here. Ooh, Killigan's Island. Sports channel not too clear. Okay, so I'm going to say that was not a very good first test. I'm not really getting a whole lot of channels that are working. So we are going to put it in the window. We are going to see if I get a little bit better luck. I think it's going to make a difference because we have a couple different walls in between here and out there. Let's go ahead and do that. Here we got it set up in the window and it's fa somewhat facing towards where towers would be. Let's go ahead and we'll start another scan. 
And like before, I will speed it along so it doesn't drag out too far. So from the window, we picked up two extra channels. We're seeing 24 now. We will see what the channels look like, if they're coming in better than they did before. That sports channel wasn't coming in very good. A couple of the other channels weren't coming in at all. So far, the first channel looks good. Gilligan's Island, it looks good. And I'll speed this along here in just a second. That way it doesn't drag out as long because my, as you can see, it switches channels very, very slowly. But so far, this is looking good. The sports channel coming in clear this time. So I'm going to say this was a actually huge improvement putting it in the window. All the channels are working, every single one of them, and they're coming in a lot more clear. Now we're going to mount it outside. I'm going to use this J-Pole 13-inch pole. And then here, you're just going to take this large bolt, and you're going to pull that out. You're going to pull the plate up, and then you'll be able to put that U-bracket in there. And you can tighten it and loosen it with a screwdriver. And it'll make it easier or harder to spin it as well, so you can rotate it while you have it mounted. And here I have it mounted on my balcony, second floor, and of course outside. I'll show you it working here a little bit, so you can tilt it each direction. And with this mount, you can tilt it forward and you know back up, so you can locate your broadcast towers a little bit easier. I'm going to start a test on a different TV. This is the cheapest TV in my house. It's an on. But uh, right off the bat, we already got a couple channels. I'll speed this up, and then we'll see how many we actually get. I think we're going to do a little better. I don't know how much for sure, but we will see. Wow, so we actually got 57 channels. That's almost triple. All right, we're going to go ahead and speed through. We're going to go through the channels here. Alright, so this antenna works great. We got 57 channels. Every single channel is working. So if you can mount this on your roof, on a, you know, a balcony or your attic, you're going to get a heck of a lot better. I know not everybody has a two-story, but if you can get it at least pretty close to your roof, maybe on the awning, the eaves or whatever, uh, you will get a pretty good experience. I mean, I'm 20 miles away from the broadcast stations across the river and all that. And normally I don't get very many channels, so this is nice. You might have better luck if you live in the city or if you don't have a lot of mountains and stuff. 